black gold and a gorgeous leather wrapped pipe. I need more of these. I look for them from time to time. Um, but they're hard to find. This exact one. It's hard to find. I've seen it before, like on one of those auction indexing sites, you know, where it shows the history of auctions and that sort of thing. But uh, I've never seen one in an auction. They're awesome. This is a sample that I got from uh, Black Ops Tobacco Society. And um, I contacted him last week and asked him if he could uh, send me uh, some black gold. Because I knew that was like uh, those guys were into that, you know, the black gold thing a few months ago. And so I figured they had some left because that was kind of like the last breakout blend after... Uh, what was it? Was it uh, Peterson's Old Dublin or was it Frog Morton on the Bayou? One of those breakout blends for the bots group. And then Black Gold. And then <clears throat> that was the last one I remember. So I figured they had some left. And he did. And uh, I really appreciate that. But I saw that review from Here Comes Charlie and. I was it. I'd had enough. I'd heard about black gold too much, and I wanted to give it a shot. But um, man, I've got a box opening video, and I will upload it. But I had to shoot it on my Vixia because there's some more to that video. Um, this is kind of like a two prong thing: box opening, and then um, response to another video. And so I shot it. That response video required a high frame rate and a quality shot, so um, I gotta edit that. So look for that in a couple months. No, seriously, I'll get to it. I still got footage of, man, I got things I'm not supposed to put up that I hadn't put up. I got footage of us fly fishing recently. I got footage of the, uh, the Briary back when we went to that meetup thing. Anytime I record stuff that requires editing, it kind of falls to the wayside. Of course, it's just this one pop it up. Anyway, this stuff produces a lot of smoke, number one. But it's, it's, uh, it's got a unique characteristic to it, man. It's like, you know, since I started smoking a pipe, I've always been in search of something like this, but it's kind of uh, lackluster now that I've found it because I've kind of grown accustomed to the traditional aromatic. This, I don't know what kind of Cavendish they use in this thing, some sort of Green River Burley Cavendish or something, I don't know. But it does not taste at all like tobacco. In fact, it tastes better than the bag note, it's pretty weird. And the room note is spectacular, according to my wife. She said it's her number two, right behind Boswell's Berry Cobbler, which is her favorite room note. But she said this smells very good. She said baking brownies, but I don't get that so much in the flavor. That's what they say on tobacco reviews, too. It's like chocolate cake and brownies and that sort of thing. I don't know. To me, it's more like a... I guess it's a little chocolatey, but it's maybe it's just kind of a sweetness I don't know but the weird thing about it is, is like you know I said this before but I feel like most blenders use the same components like if you like an aromatic from Solani you'll probably like most of their aromatics because they use the same Cavendish in each of their blends it's my wife I know. I've been watching them, though, till now. 
What's he doing? He has a swiffer out. Hey, you know what he did this morning? He got into the bathroom and took all the soaps out of the thing, you know? All the, all the bars of soap. But then instead of opening them all like he usually does, he just stacked them all back up again and put them back in there. Oh, man. That's trouble. Anyway, I bet you there's, um, I bet you several of their blends taste pretty good like this. Um, but what I was going to say was, is I've kind of grown accustomed to the flavor of certain Cavendish tobaccos from different vendor, vendor, blenders, you know? Like, um, I like that, uh, I like the Cavendish that they use at Pipes of Cigars to make, uh, Trout Stream. It's good, man. I like Trout Stream because I like that Cavendish. And I like the Cavendish and the blends that they use at uh, a couple of local tobacconists. Like the one in Gatlinburg. Gatlinburrier. I like their Cavendish. But um, this tastes like the topping. That's all it tastes like. It's like, you know, if you're a... If you're, starting up and you're looking for that tobacco that tastes exactly like it smells but this doesn't taste exactly like it smells that's what's weird so I'm saying it tastes better than the bag note but it certainly does not taste like tobacco and so um it's good but it's very good don't get me wrong very good and if you're you know that's what you're looking for if you're looking for a tobacco that doesn't taste like tobacco. Here you go, man. Just a little, <laughs> a little soundtrack for us. This is my this is my son playing with girly toys. This is what we live with now. All the time. That's all it's got, man. This all I've got. Are you serious? Girl toys, yeah. No. Yeah, boy toys. Whatever he's Come on. Way. Anyway. Black gold. If you're looking for a tobacco that's sweet and doesn't taste like tobacco but tastes like candy, go for it. I probably buy some more of it, man. Because uh, or buy some. I ain't buying this. Maybe one day. Because I mean, it definitely fills a <coughs> slot. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful day.